Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Disco Elysium. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. It's Wednesday, and uh, not in real life it isn't, but in the game it is, and I need to wash off the smell of death. The, uh, it, we are gonna need to wash off, because uh, we have been doing some autopsies, more autopsies than normal. Also, I took health damage. Uh, I remember that vaguely, but I... Uh, Vaguely. We also have... Why are you telling me about this t-shirt right now? T-shirt Men of Jindal. Which one is it? It's the one that I have. Right, right, right. Uh, we acquired a bullet. I don't know where it is, though. There it is. It's evidence. The bullet mushroomed out on impact. It now looks more like a fanciful jacket button than something that could pierce skin, flesh, and bone. Anything can pierce that, uh, given enough speed. The bullet is safely st sealed away in a plastic bag bearing the RCM stamp. Kim has filled the label out on the bag with the uh, item number, case number, and date and location of the bullet, when the bullet was found. Beside his orderly handwriting, the bullet looks especially sad, like a tiny shriveled head of a cauliflower. What do I do with you, bullet? I'm gonna say, what? The lieutenant steps close. I said, what do I do with you, bullet? Well, if I was the bullet, which I'm not, I would say, find the weapon that shot me, says Kim. Good idea. If we find who owns it, we will ha have likely found out who used it, possibly to kill our victim. In conclusion, the more we know about this bullet of yours, the better. Let's inspect the bullet closer. The jacket of the bullet is made of yellowish material. It has blossomed out to reveal a dark gray core. The base of the bullet is close to 5 millimeters in diameter. Uh, and the core? It's quite destroyed. Some of the fragments are still lodged in the wound. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look at the jacket. You can just n about make out a few striations near the base of the bullet. Little hairlines linear. Or, uh, little linear hairlines. It feels standard. Uh, aren't those, like, more or less unique to each gun? And y if you if the bullet is fired recently from a weapon, you should be able to match the striations to the weapon. Hmm. What can you say about the bullet so far? Kim asks. Well, it's a jacketed bullet, c close to 5 millimeters in diameter. A jacketed bullet, okay, says Kim. It would have been shot from a military-grade breech-loading rifle, not from a muzzle loader like those typical, f typically found on the streets of Martinez. Breech-loaded is not muzzle-loaded? I don't know anything about those things. Even the RCM uses ordinary, unjacketed conical bullets. This is strange. Very strange. I like this, officer. Strange means unique. Unique means incriminating. We need to find the gun that shot it. Something tells you that won't be any time soon. This'll have to be one of those epic tasks that's open for a while, says our Inland Empire. However, we have hand-eye hand coordination. So we might be able to do something with that. I'm going to try to determine what type of weapon shot this. And I rolled... <sighs> can I can I do better with that? No, no. Uh, sh put, put it away. Can I do better than that 71%? Where's my hand-eye coordination? I have none. Okay. That's good news. Where's it? Nothing? No, nope, nothing. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> let's try it again. Yeah, this, that's what we're about to do. Save's coming. First time. I, I'm still reeking from not being able to... Reeking? That's, it's smelling badly. Reeling, I think, is the, uh, the term uh, from not, from that, from last episode. So, or a couple of episodes back. So, uh, what do I do with you, Bullet? Uh, said things. Good idea. Continue. Uh, inspect the bullet closer. And the core. Look at the jacket. It's basically the same as we did before. 
And, uh, and I can try this again. 72, come on. There we go. A rifle. Revolutionary, period. Your bullet looks to be an old 446 millimeter from the surplus left over from a, uh, from the turn of the century. Probably an antique or a retrofitted antique. And the reason why, uh, well, h half the reason why I wanted to save scum here is because I noticed, last episode, that we had a plus one because we found an antique rifle when we were giving our report to who I assume is, um... The, the, our boss, uh, who is now at the Whirling in Rags. And uh, why would that antique rifle give a, me a plus one on that check? I don't know, but it did. And uh, I'm pretty sure we have the weapon already. So, yeah. it's This is pretty important. Uh, make? Let's see. The 446 caliber was widely used with the Belle Mangrave rifle. A Ravacholian manufacturer, the BM, dominated the battlefield of the Insulindian theater of the Anticentennial Revolution 50 years ago. Incidentally, you have just such a rifle with you, the dusty old thing you found hidden in the basement below the commercial area. It's unusable, sadly. If it were, the, uh, if it, I mean, it is... <laughs> this doesn't translate well. Unusable is a, a single word, so... In other languages, it's not necessarily um, <laughs> a single word. Uh, so this should read, it's not usable, sadly. If it were, the bullet would probably fit the chamber. Is anyone still making these rifles, though? I'm going to ask of myself. And no, says our hand-eye coordination, but Zeelager, a major firearm manufacturer, ended, ended with a surplus after the war. So there are still a lot of these old military rifles floating around, usually broken. The quality was appalling. Who uses Belle Mangrave rifles these days? Antiques, enthusiasts, guerrilla fighters in distant countries, a few lucky jamrock bangers. You're looking for the same thing you found in that hidden weapon cache, only in working order. Hmm. Hmm, says Kim. The lieutenant jots something down in his notebook. What are you thinking? Bullet? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I think I know where this came from. I'm going to dangle the bag thoughtfully. Okay, and? Asks Kim. The shot probably came from a Bellyman Grav rifle. An antique, he says. That makes sense. There can't be many breech-loading rifles floating around in Martinez or anywhere in Ravishol, really. Why not? Sure, there's some arms trafficking, he says. But the laws prohibiting the use of breech-loaders we inherited from the monar monarchy have been effective from what I've seen. Some new RCM recruits get impatient with their muzzle loaders once they have trained with military-grade weapons, but they realize it's worth it in the end. Worth what? Getting shot? Imagine if everyone, cops, citizens, had uh, access to firearms that could shoot multiple rounds without pausing to reload. After the first shot, the second, third, and so on come much easier. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, much better. But back to the investigation, says Kim. Um, so we're looking for an antiques enthusiast? It doesn't seem that likely, says Kim. But we'll check out all possible leads. Next step, finding the gun itself. Yeah, I need my physical instrument to be better. I've done some bad choices. I've done some bad choices from a gameplay perspective. I'm going to fill the bullet through the bag. The squashed bullet has some sharp edges where the jacket has split open. It feels cold, even through the bag. Okay, well... And, uh, let's wash off first. Uh, find the murder weapon. Locate a working firearm that shoots 446. Uh, we're plenty far away from leveling up. And there's nothing else to do over here. <laughs> I say that. There, there's plenty of things to do in here. I'm gonna tell something to the dead men. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I'm gonna tell... Tell me something, dead men. I'm gonna say. Um... How do you like it in the fridge? I like it a lot, brother. This really is your finest hour. You're a genius. A regular. Coppolangelo. Uh, sure. Why do I love questions so much? Because you're a Copparoni. Look at all of them go. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Yeah, give me questions. Here you go, you loony. Is my written name... Rooney? Because he called me a loony Rooney. Fuck no, you're no Rooney. 
Rooney is not who I am. I'm Harry. No, you're not a Harry either. You're a motherfucker. That's who you are. Rooney the motherfucker. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something terrible? Because you have... Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna be the murderer, aren't we? The killing hand! I am the killing hand. Uh, I don't know if that's a reference to something else. I'm making a reference to a song, but that's... You probably haven't heard of it. Anyway, um, or maybe you have. It's a very big band. I'm gonna take the note from the door. You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets, keeping it on the door. Oh, of course I do. <laughs> fridge magnets? You never know when those come in handy. Although they're very weak, so that you can't use them for like things like opening locks or anything. Uh, you know, because magnets can open locks. The, the, the little relays that some locks have, especially if they... Well, only if they're electromagnetic. Or not electromagnetic. Electronic, anyway. Like, you know, buzzer locks and things like that. Handwritten note from the fridge. Let's interact with this. The note is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? The lieutenant leans closer to read the crumpled note over your shoulder. This is tangential at best, is what he means, but the lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Someone has scribbled S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. You'll find a filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Please make it home as soon as possible. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a, uh, a civilized place with a freezer. Take care. Sully's Law. Or Sully's Law? Because that has a strike on it and I don't think it's pronounced. Um, I wonder who wrote that note. Looks like someone from the radio game company upstairs. I'm a little surprised they just left their property lying here. Uh, maybe they had to leave in a hurry? That's a plausible hypothesis. So who's the illiterate ginger kid? I don't think that would be Kuno. Really? The lieutenant looks at you, the corner of his mouth curved in a smug grin. You don't have a single guess? You mean Kuno? Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on a filament memory. Even if he doesn't know what to do with it, he'd probably try to pawn it for speed based on our encounter. Yeah, I wouldn't think it would be P Kuno because I would think this has been locked down for years, but I'm maybe confused about the details that we've heard of all this place. Do you have an idea where the frozen ice cream maker could be? I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Didn't you see one right next to the breaker box? Uh, I did. It's further down south. Um, uh, okay. I don't need to. I don't need to know what a filament memory is. I know what a filament memory is. It's a thing, Gamma Jig. Uh, also, we might want to go to the left side. Uh, also, I might want to get the game centered on my character. Thank you. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand cranked ice cream churned on what? Churner, not churned. An, I an hand cranked ice cream churner on top of an a and an electric freezer that appears to be sh frozen shut. Uh, how did I not? What was showing up here before? Did I not? I interacted with this for sure. Uh, let's try to crack the the uh, lid open. You slip your fingers under the frozen lid, but the ice is too cold for you to get a good grip. A pry bar would come in handy here. No, there is no need for something else. Some kind of no, 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 there's going to... Our interfacing is saying, this is going to need something else, some kind of super pry bar. Don't even try to open it with a regular pry bar, you're just wasting your time. Our hand-eye coordination says, if you want to try again, then you need to have the pry bar in your hand, detective. I know, thank you. I... <sighs> oh, my God, these furies are infuriating. I mean, I suppose that makes sense, considering the... It's not a pun. It's, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's get that over here. Okay. Save the game just in case, because I... Uh, just in case. Also, I'm stuck. Yeah, that happens a lot, doesn't it? If you try to... If you don't move after interacting with things, then you can't interact with them again. You need to move again. Uh... Oh... Pry bar not strong enough. Better grip with the gloves. Yes. Well, I guess... I guess I'm gonna need a better pry bar? How am I gonna get a better? What do you mean a better pry bar? Isn't this a nice pry bar? 
The red tip pry bar has a Carson T heavy duty engraved just below the handle. It is satisfyingly heavy and perhaps one of the most useful tools to carry around. Uh, y yeah. I'm not gonna turn the handle though, because that sounds like I would destroy whatever's inside. Um, two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads to the ice bear fridge and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. So I could unplug it. Uh, after a while it pr would probably unfreeze, but I don't know if I should. Where does this lead? Did I not come this way? I did. I forgot where it leads, though. Oh, freaking hell. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I did forget where it led, but we did definitely leave through there before. Um, which means I don't need to go talk to Plaisance again. Or go through her, anyway. So, uh, let's see if I can get a clue in here as to who might have... No, I can't. Who might have done anything there. Uh, let's strip the breaker box. I, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it shouldn't break anything, right? So the black, lo the black one leads to the ice cream maker nearby. Something close to you dies with a soft electric purr. Why did you do that? Asks Skim. <laughs> I don't know why I unplugged it. I do things without a reason. Um... It's weird that we have only these choices, but I'm going to say the second one because it's black, the color of immeasurable cosmos. The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. The electric distribution board now has one cable missing. Why would he ask me that? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to plug it back in. I don't know if it, it, it's going to ruin anything. Somewhere a machine hums along with current, happy, and content. Well, I guess that's that. Yes? No, let's wash. Uh, wait, what the heck's this? No, it's fine. Yeah, let's, uh, let's wash up. Because it's, it's just better <laughs> that way. It's early morning, it's not even 9 a.m. And I'm already drenched in blood. Dead man's blood. A week and a half old dead men's blood. I'm not really sure how the, that would work. Or stain you, but sure. I, 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 I just don't know. Also, a week rotting in the sun. That, that You'd think the blood wouldn't be there at all. But at least I have bullets. Or a bullet, I suppose. I wonder if I should tell that jerk over there. What a jerk. He's really mean. Really, really hate him. Like... I don't, we obviously don't know what... Uh, wait. Hmm. Where do we wash up over here? Or not? I mean, I think it'd be over here. Um, we are obviously missing, the, the, like, the, our past interactions, but still. I mean, that's evidently the, uh... The point of the whole thing. So yeah, I figured he, didn't he say something about washing up in the uh in Clash's bathroom or something? No. <clears throat> I mean there's drugs there, but that's that's about it. So I don't know where to wash up. What? Maybe it's only at, at, at night. That's a weird quest if it's gonna be only at night. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Yes? What is it? Are you with him? I'm gonna point to the man with sunglasses. Of course I'm with him. She seems startled by her own tone. Why do you ask? He's an asshole. You're an asshole, he pauses. You know what? Maybe we're both assholes. Please, she looks at you, then him, and then you again. Let's not turn this into another exchange, okay? Uh. Hey, I need to wash up, dude. He's not gonna tell me Can anything. I help you? Uh, well, not wash up with a drink, I suppose. Yeah, so. Let's just keep looking for, for things, I suppose. I'm at a little bit of a loss right now. 
Because if I can't level up, I'm basically stuck. Is that is that how the game works? Surely not. Hopefully not. Uh, let's go to free tab. I don't know if I collected any uh, anything to sell. I do have a bunch of things to sell, but that doesn't mean I can sell them. That free tier would... Oh, there's a pawn shop. The pawn shop is probably where I should go. Anyway, let's see if I can trade. Insert my bottles for a buck. Your bottles clunk into the machine. Everything is fine. Let's have a chat with you. Um, is this about the questions again? Yeah, but I, it's fine. I'll see you later. Hmm. So we probably should go to the pawn shop. Although, you know, actually an antiques... Oh, that would be a lead. An antiques uh, special or a fictionado might have gone to the pawn shop a few times. Let's, let's do the claiming of the corpse. Mm, it wasn't here? Oh, no, it is. It's just marked. It's not marked as... I'm going to ruin his car, ain't I? The game is not telling me anything about the how dirty I am. So I'm going to pick the radio up. <clears throat> um Elise, please connect me to the 41st again. Just a moment, officer. Um Hmm. Is is uh Is Kim doing it? <laughs> I'm just bothering them right now. I'm not pe pressing the saved. Th that's probably like a fast number or something. It's not my business. So I don't want to don't want to bother Kim. Although I'm sure he wouldn't be bothered cuz he's has not he's, he he doesn't do that. He doesn't get bothered. There's people down here. There's new people down here in the pawn shop, which is I suppose a good way to m get me to find the people cuz I I would come here. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I have something else to sell? I have a fascinating photo of a corp. Oh, no. I'd like to sell my clothes. Yeah, but he, he doesn't... Oh, that's how it goes. Okay. So I have the Mangrav rifle over here that I can pawn. Postcard is prepaid. Can pawn these. Lieutenant's handkerchief. Photo of a happy couple. Duck worker shift card. Yeah, we've got a lot of these. I'll keep them. But I at least I know how to do it. So that's pretty good. Let's talk to the people outside. Because I'm sure. I'm sure there's something going on. They weren't here before. I'm almost certain of that. Also, they have a specific uniform that I don't recognize. But they could be dock workers. Oh, tell... I can't talk to them? Okay, let's look at our journal. See what we're doing here. So, we need to find a murder weapon. Uh, that's not going to happen in a while. Uh, there's a bathtub in your room in the whirling and rags. It's only for the night, I suppose. Uh, so probably that's not going to bother me. Uh, let's see. Explore the Whirling's secret passage. Uh, we got info on how to do this already, but I just don't think I can do that or something. Uh, also, who else has an authorized? <clears throat> Track my badge down. There's something she wants to tell you or present you. Wait, Joyce? There's something she wants to tell you. You just have to present her with a badge to hear it. Yeah, but I don't know where my badge is, so I can't. Or find out who the lady driver is. Also, I don't know where she is. Let Morel know if you see him. Yeah. Ask another about the tattoo's possible meaning. There's a lot of what feels like broken quests. Which is a surprise 
for me, honestly. It really is a surprise. It's not that they're... I assume it's not that they're broken, although they could be. Um, but they feel like it. Because I'm... I don't have leaks. still cool here, officer. <sighs> well, I'm going to have to persuade him. No, no, that's not him. I would need to persuade the other driver up north, uh, up to the northeast from where we are, to tell me about the lady driver. Uh, we tried that before. Uh, let's persuade persuade this guy to give me some money. Uh, but I will try to don my uh, re rhetoric jackets or whatever, if I have any, which I might. We don't have anything on the left, so... Oh, that's minus rhetoric. Hmm. Okay. Give it a shot. Everything's still cool here, officer. Give me money. Start with a little compliment and then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember? Yay. Hey, you seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the local police force? Oh, okay. The man stops, his face suddenly serious. But why, officer? After all this mess, says our rhetoric, the broken seal's lying to you? Or the broken seal's and lying to you? Come on. Yeah, think of it as an investment, I'm gonna say. An investment? He raises a brow, intrigued. What kind of investment? Or, says our volition, you could not make this about corruption and go with something even wilder. Uh, that is actually a good point, actually. Actually, actually. Um, it's an investment in me. A highly experimental human being. My risk-reward ratio is insane. I guess it, it, it can't be any riskier than speculating in exotic derivatives. How much are we talking about here? Uh, ten real? Ten real is a bargain for that kind of investment. You got it, my man. He takes a ten note from a leather pouch. Uh, well, I guess, thanks. <laughs> Just got money. See you later. That's, that's that. Uh, yep. Um, no clues uh, as to, let's see, can I do anything here? No. No clues as to uh, the tattoos or the rifle, but that's something. Ten Royale is pretty good. It's getting me close to the 50, which would be lovely, because that would be two nights of sleep. Uh, and other things as well. Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. What's on your mind? I've changed my mind about your friend, the lady driver. Um, he says, what? But I told you she's my friend. Please don't make me give her up, detective. Get someone else. There's a ton of drivers here. Yeah. Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I shouldn't, I shouldn't try that before going to the racist lorry driver here. And, uh, and seeing if he has a check in here. Because I think there was one. Looking for something, aunt? Huh? Tough Coming light. to tell me to fuck off again? Yeah, but I can't do it because I haven't leveled up yet. So, I guess that's the price somebody else has to pay for me rolling the dice wrong. Well, it's going to be that for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Colonel RPG. This has been Disco Elysium, and I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment down below and a like as well if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. Bye-bye.